Before Shami Vivekananda traveled the world, before the great Shottan Bosch and C.V. Raman lit up Indian science, there was one man in Calcutta who dared to dream of a scientific India, Dr. Mohinder Lal Sharkar. Born in 1833 in Paikpara, he rose from modest beginnings to become the second MD of India, a student so brilliant that his marks were spoken of like myth. But his greatness lay not in obedience, it lay in intellectual courage. He mastered Western medicine and then questioned it, exploring homeopathy not out of blind belief but because he felt science must test everything and dismiss nothing without reason. This made him controversial, sure, but it also made him unforgettable. In 1876, seeing that British India had no national institute where an ordinary Indian could walk in and touch a scientific instrument, he founded the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, IACS, the very first Indian Science Institute built on small donations of 1 rupee, 2 rupees, 5 rupees, a laboratory by Indians for Indians decades before the Indian Institute of Sciences. And years later, in this very institute, C.V. Raman would perform the experiments that won India its Nobel Prize, in fact the first Nobel Prize in Science. Dr. Shorkar did not live to see that triumph, but the foundation was his. In 1885, in Sri Raman, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa developed throat cancer. The greatest doctor in Bengal was called to treat him. And what followed was a rare friendship, a rare equation between the rationalist physician and the mystic saint. They spoke about illness, mind, body, death, truth. Ramakrishna called him a learned man with a heart full of kindness. And Dr. Shorkar, despite his skepticism, was moved by the saint's humanity. It was Bengal at its finest, science and spirituality in dialogue, not in conflict. Dr. Shorkar passed away in 1904. No political throne, no British title, no wealth, only a legacy, a belief that science must belong to the people. Every laboratory in modern India can is a trace of his dream. Every student who enters a research institute walks on a path he cleared. Every Indian scientist builds upon the stage he created with coins collected from common people. Because he proved something rare. You don't need power to change a civilization. You need conviction. Bengal remembers Dr. Mahindra Lal Sharkar. Do you?